Dirty Duck is... Well, it's, uh... I mean, I know what this movie's about. I'm a cinema snob. I get shit like this. Dirty Duck is about... You know what? Smoke a fucking bowl and then watch the movie. It'll be about any goddamn thing you want. Lord said duck, go out and in the universe today. He had such enormous fun. He asked his friend Witter to come. Fritz the Cat, as you may remember, was one of the all-important animated films of the 1970s, using softcore animation to give a subtext of social injustices and class hypocrisy at the hands of police brutality. I haven't actually seen the movie, that's just what the reviews tell me it's about. So because of the success of Fritz the Cat, we got other animal-related cartoon sex films. I can't think of many off the top of my head, largely because I shaved most of the top of my head off, but there is one movie that sticks out among the crowd, and that's Dirty Duck, a movie so confusing that I'm not even sure what to call it. The most official title for the movie is Down in Dirty Duck, though the rest of the advertisements shorten it to Dirty Duck, but the original production title for the movie was Cheap. This was back when the movie was mostly about snuff films. Producer Roger Corman made them change the title for fear that a movie called Roger Corman's Cheap would be an insult. Yet references to that title appear all throughout the thing, such as this poster in the background, the reference in the song lyrics, this opening text crawl. I don't prize the word cheap. It, it's not a word of hope. It, it's not even a word of cheer, huh? It is the badge of poverty. The signal of distress, huh? Cheap service means cheap men. And cheap men mean a cheap country. You know, that makes more sense, knowing that the original title for the movie was cheap. Now it just feels like it's foreshadowing the movie's budget. And in this scene, I'm pretty sure they dub over the word cheap with the words Dirty Duck. For our action-packed late-night movie, Dirty Duck. <laughs> Sorry, but off-screen duck cock did not distract me from that flaw, thank you very much. Directed and mostly solo animated by Charles Swenson, the movie is also a vehicle for the film's stars and co-writers Mark Volman and Howard Kalin, both of the Turtles as well as Flo and Eddie. Too bad I think Ernest Goes to Camp was a more popular commercial for the Turtles, as Down and Dirty Duck was not a commercial success, which automatically makes it not as good as Fritz the Cat. Looks like we get an appearance of the Rocky Horror lips at the beginning of the film. Too bad there's not a big enough budget for them to sing, but there is enough money to turn it into a hot dog. Look, we can even afford mustard, but I can tell by the coloring that it is not Honey Dijon. I'll tell you this much, this is already the best Lone Ranger movie I've ever seen. <laughs> Oh, thank God! It's not actually the end. It's just a joke at the beginning of the movie. <laughs> oh, wait, why is that a good thing? Why can't this movie be over? And I'm not sure a sex movie about a duck needs an intro. I hope you enjoyed watching as much as we enjoyed showing it to you. Right, Lightning? Oh, sure, Lightning enjoyed showing it to you, too. <laughs> you be sh what the fuck? I really hope there's a lingering John Wick nearby. Don't worry, the dog's okay. Look, it comes limping out and bleeding. I'm sure it'll make it to the hospital. Oh, look, he's having his mouth. Oh, oh. <laughs> he says right too, folks. I really don't think I want to watch your movie now, sleazy car salesman. 
Ah, a fine American film. You can tell by the 28 stars. Here is our hero, Willard Eisenbaum, Irish Catholic. The house doesn't look so bad. Look, he's got a vertical painting of a kitchen on his wall. The more I look at this, I don't think that's dirt on his chair. It just looks like the animation cells got a little moldy. Willard is a lonely man, as the only thing getting an erection in his apartment is the toothpaste. But he does have fantastic deep-throating skills. If Mickey Mouse looks pissed, it's because Donald's lawyers are about to get a little sue happy over this film. I don't know why Willard is so upset. He's so popular, even the sun knows his name. So drugs just made everybody feel happy back in the day, didn't they? But who needs a woman when you've got a plant? This is the day that you said it's the way that you know it's gotta be. And then he's gonna fuck it. Or at least motorboat it. That's about the safest thing going on in this apartment. Christ, why are people so trigger happy in this movie? Animation is a place to practice safety, goddammit! Willard's big plan of the day is to finally confess his love and propose to a woman in the office. At least I think that's what he's going on about. I'm too busy focusing on the cat in the background who clearly has to take a piss. You shouldn't rush those things, you know. Yes, ma'am, I know, but I... I've thought about this one a, a long time. Oh, but Willard, she just started working with you this week. Well, sometimes... Why is that a thing that's happening? Was it too hard to just draw in a litter box? I think Willard was talking about a girl. I don't know. The next scene is leading me to believe he wants to fuck his car. And it's nice of Terry Gilliam to animate a couple frames of the movie. And he's such a nice young man. Don't you think so? Oh, bite the weenie. Jesus, did he just shoot his landlord? This guy better get some pussy soon because he's about to go to jail. It's hard for Howard to get some tail when there's so many handsome dudes cock-blocking him. Oh, hi, sugar. Hmm? Hi there, Miss American Pie. Hi there, guy whose lines were recorded in a completely different room. This day is starting out very rough. He can't even get on the bus without someone jerking off his leg and having sex on the bus steps. He should consider himself lucky. These two have so many diseases now. This makes Willard so mad that he spawns a dream sequence. <laughs> mm, just like in Godzilla. Wait, never mind. This movie is Walter Mitty, but with fucking. As you can see, Willard works in the same place as Anthony Perkins in The Trial, and he is not very popular with his boss. Well, sweetheart, uh, this is my shit list, and uh, you've been at the top of my shit list so long, I'm gonna have to make a new shit list, you see? I've been saying this about Eli Roth for decades. And you probably know where this is going. <laughs> That's right, he's gonna roll her up into a ball and play basketball with her. <laughs> Duh. Fuck, I forgot his love interest name, so I guess I should just call her Shoulder Tit. He makes a bad first impression by spilling hot oil on her backside. Look, buddy, nobody gets head from Susie on the first date. But if you spill the coffee on yourself, that's a completely different story. <laughs> Poor Willard is in so much trouble. You can't go around kissing the secretary's hems. Maybe you can befriend some rats who will do your evil bidding. Or is the boss just jealous? Oh, will it? So what's the matter with my hem? What the fuck? What Willard did was just an accident. The boss just flat out showed him her penalty box. <laughs> Where are we now? It looks like someone wiped their ass with a child's drawing of a subway car. And just in case you didn't know this guy was black... Get my black ass off them welfare rolls, you know? Cause if you don't, I'm gonna have to sell my black sister's ass. And she a dyke and she don't like to hump, especially honkies. Hey, God, we gotta wait for the boom mic to pop down. That way we'll know if he's Dolomite or not. And his voice, by the way, belongs to the famous African-American character and voice actor, Robert Ridgely. Look, it doesn't matter if I'm talking over this. It's not like I can follow what's going on anyway. I am the Redeemer! I am Kevin! What 
I mean is, is that I totally understand what's going on. See? They're dead now. And they're in a hole somewhere, it looks like. Uh, oh, well, there's another subway car and the station appearing out of nowhere. I think this here is the best animation in the movie, probably because it's a picture. You can tell the Dirty Duck is on his way because of the theme song. You're not the but a good duck. How do I know he's a good duck? This is the first he's been in the movie and he hasn't said anything yet. Plus, it looks like he just got out of prison. And the name of the movie is Down and Dirty Duck, not Good Duck. Oh wait, what's this tagline? Wouldn't you like a good duck tonight? Oh, because it sounds like good fuck. If fucking a duck is the best sex you've ever had, I really hope that you're another duck. Actually, the duck sort of works in the prison, along with Painless Martha, a tattoo artist who is set for Willard to file an insurance claim. I'm, I'm, I'm busy. Don't you realize this is life and death? Shit, Mom. I'm sorry. Now look here, look here. Oh, and she's also the duck's mom. And she's a person. Of course she is! Admittedly, this is a better Ouija board movie than the one they're peddling in theaters now. And like every duck, he has oh, about like eight or nine fingers on each hand. But I can buy that he walks and talks, just don't fuck up the fingers. At least this movie looks to address the fact that Donald Duck doesn't wear pants and we should see his ass crack. I don't think this meeting is going so well. Don't come back until you have the money. Well, gladly, but you'll get nothing from us until you're dead. <laughs> so God just killed her. Either that or Terry Gilliam animated this part too and suffered yet another fatal heart attack. Luckily, her will is in the first place anyone would look in this movie. is it doing there? Why wasn't it behind the door? It'd still be between someone's legs. I smell shenanigans and the plot for a silly TV pilot. Dear Mr. Wizard, you have just killed me. Son of a bitch, you killed her. And in doing so, you become responsible for the duck. Why does anyone need to be responsible for the duck? He can already walk and talk. In fact, I'm not sure if there's any reason why he's even a duck in the first place. Willard can barely take care of himself. Look, here he is with his head up his boss's vagina. And I barely know anything about this duck. Look, I was in Miami. I know John. I know Yoko. And you can't judge me. I know Abby. I'm a shut up, Yoko. Ugh, okay, so he's a name dropper too. Can someone tell me what the fuck is going on here? I mean, you know, for those who don't know. I get it now. It said Koduck instead of Kodak because he's a duck, you see. Anything else to add? Can you oh, let go of my feathers, please? Oh, I've later. never shrimped a duck's feet. I'd certainly like to get out of here. Let go of my web. Please, love please, those are my only feet. For heaven's sake, would you oh, stop sucking heaven. on my finger, please? This isn't a script. They just smoked up a lot of people, recorded it, and then made a movie out of it. Don't believe me? Listen, you Nelly Queen over there, I'm not kidding you. Stay away from the dock. I don't oh, care if you go over there. You gotta get all right, blah, 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 blah. Well, go over the Houdini. I don't give a shit about him. Just stay away from the dock. Oh! That sounded like an actual fight broke out in the recording studio because someone tripping balls really wanted to fuck a duck. And by recording studio, I mean someone's apartment. Even my black boxes are confused because I'm not sure if I should censor this. This feels like what made the duck killer in New York Ripper go insane. Enough freaking out. Someone say something. Hey, whoa, hey, man. We're fucking out, man. Yeah said the only positive reviews for this movie ever. You're not the but a good dog. So the duck's mission is to get Willard laid, and at least he goes the easy route and takes him to a whorehouse. It's all up to you, a Negro, a Jew, or you two screw. Hmm, can they also be dwarves? Miss Mary or Louise. Um, mm -mm, no names. Oh, whatever, take enough acid and you won't remember names anyway. Alto, position three, she needs your name. Position for attack to adore. Uh, 
will someone check on the duck? I think he might be dead. And this is slowly turning into a Robert Rodriguez movie. What's the point of this scene again? Because horses are a guy. Give someone dead a try. Oh, maybe a tree. Oh, I get it now. It's to very happily sing about necrophilia and tree fucking. Most adult cartoons seem to have a fetish for big tits, but this one greatly prefers hips. And random references to food and drinks. Leave the banana whole. No, no, don't, but freeze it. Put it just in, now put the banana in the bottom of the glass and mash the avocado around it. You, you got a pound of butter? Butter? Okay, now put, put it on the fire. Quite an interesting recipe you have. I think drinking that is what gave the duck his heart attack. And now we have the most predictable thing to happen in the movie. <laughs> That's it. That's all there is. All you got. That's right, because it doesn't matter if I'm watching a French porn, a softcore comedy, or a cartoon about a duck, there's a pretty good chance it's gonna have a talking vagina in it. And then we cut to Flesh Gordon's rocket, which turns into a semi-truck, and then turns into Willard and the Duck. Weird things will happen when you have sex in a brothel. Odds are you'll end up in the desert. Here I am in the middle of the desert with a duck with no name. Change that to a horse and you might have yourself a catchy song. Any other music references? Hey, uh, how'd you get to be a duck anyway? Well, uh, I was a turtle for a while, but things got real slow and... Thanks, duck. You showed me that she'd rather be with me, and if Eleanor tells you she's my girl, let her know it ain't me, babe. <laughs> something, 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 you don't have to walk in the rain. I guess Frank Zappa approves of these references, or is that Zalman from Hooker with a Heart of Gold? That's not as weird as a car reject from Death Race 2000 turning up. Nice of Roger Corman to loan that to them. This is getting awkward. <laughs> I think that was insanity. We're crazy. Oh, were they winning? Oh, you're crazy. <laughs> they don't just have chemistry, they have Martin Lawrence and Tim Robbins chemistry. And I don't think you've established enough shit yet to have a callback. Hey, you out there in the audience, do you think he's thirsty? Well, you have 30 seconds to write your answer on the back of the ticket stub. And uh, send the answer to the end of the row. You can win a 16-ounce drinking glass, a banana, an avocado, 20 Alka-Seltzer tablets, a piece of rock. Oh my god, that drink is not gonna catch on. Fucking drop it. God damn, will characters please stop dying? Nothing a little motorboating from a lesbian to wake him up. I think this woman is supposed to be hot? I don't know, she looks like an old witch, but I guess beggars can't be choosers. The duck does what any good friend would do when a lesbian tries sleeping with them thinking they're a chick. They give them a good old-fashioned shit-eating grin. Uh-oh, looks like the long cock of the law has showed up. And for a dude, that's a few different camel toes going on there. Why does he sound like the monkey from Sodom and Gomorrah the last seven days? You kidding me, ducks loving America? I heard about you two from this old gummery here. Where's all I get? He was in my pants, pilgrim, mining for crotch gold. I'll protect you lesbians. Isn't this where you want to be? In the pants of a male cop next to an old prospector. <laughs> I can't do John Wayne. I'm almost scared to see who's going to turn up next. You got a permit to be out here? Nope. Or just get to some stupid jokes. Eh, hey, I always duck, see? And I just can't resist ducking a good bush. Because he's a duck that likes pussy. I have the feeling this scene isn't done with the references. This is my permit, mister. I don't want you stinking badges! Odd place for a blazing saddles quote. And speaking of odd... Oh, oh, oh my gosh, this looks like it for Captain America. Hey man, thanks! You're welcome, sweetheart. We'll be seeing you. Yeah, yeah, all the old familiar places. Oh, now who didn't think the tank was gonna sound like Bogart? I've been saying for hours that this movie is a rip off of Casablanca, in that they're both things that exist. Now they're definitely going to prison for being involved with the murder of a police officer. Shit, someone's turned out the lights in the movie theater. I could take this as an opportunity to sneak out, but then I wouldn't get my money back for this movie being nothing like the Three Caballeros. I guess tickets for this movie couldn't have cost that much. Well. 
Not free, but it's cheap. Uh... Mm, don't you mean it's not free, but it's down and dirty duck? Any minute now, they're gonna get a good joke in here. Here, pussy. Here, pussy. Yeah, good pussy. Come, kitty. Here, pussy. Come on. Not that joke. And seriously, some of these lines are still confusing if you don't know the original title. Huh? And now, tonight's movie, Cheap. Too bad it's the TV version of Cheap, which cuts out the C-section sequence. And why isn't this scene in the shot on Chidio Cheap? Things like this should be in every movie, if you're on a permanent acid trip, and no one told me this was the George Harrison gun. Makes sense, I've been praying to my sweet lord through this whole film. At least the dog is back, who I guess is fine. Oh, Lightning, you're cute, but don't do it to the <laughs> Stop shooting the damn dog! And stop reminding me of the other title. Kill your fucking dog! <laughs> Good! About time this guy got what was coming to him. Not everyone can live happily ever after. Uh, why is Willard fucking the duck? Why is the duck a chick? Where did that hair come from? The duck didn't have hair earlier. Seriously? The duck is a chick? Why? Did you think it'd be weird otherwise? Willard can fuck animals, but he can't be gay? I don't understand this! Ah, the clock! Last night! You ate it! You mean I'm gonna ring like this every morning? Huh? Oh, well, you, you are what you eat. <laughs> no! That was a long way to go for a pussy-eating joke. Now that we know the gender, is the duck actually gonna get a name? Hi, uh, this is my landlady. Uh, this is, um, Daisy. Ah, Daisy Duck. Good thing that's not copywritten. I suppose fucking a duck is what needed to happen for Willard to gain confidence? Hi, come on! Hi, honey! I'm Willard Eisenbaum. I'm in love. I, come on, we're gonna be late I'm for love. work! Hey, work. Good morning! Hi! Hi! Hi, how you doing, honey? By that I mean he's turned into a douchebag. Clearly, the message of this movie is that if your job has made you a quack, then obviously you need to go and fuck a duck. Literally. Or just fuck your boss. I quit! Don't quit. Mm, this must be your second date. And now the movies come... full circle. Thanks to the ending, I know that some of the characters are named Big Dyke, Small Dyke, Negro Gentleman, Big F... Uh, transvestite... What?! My modern day sensitivities are not pleased with these raunchy 70s credits. Well, Down and Dirty Duck was certainly no Fantasia and was extremely inappropriate for a children's cartoon. And for those who think of the film as just a cash-in from Fritz the Cat, it actually has a little more in common with Bobby London's 1971 comic strip Dirty Duck, which the movie was accused of plagiarizing. But beyond that, director Charles Swenson did go on to other works, such as being a writer for movies like Fievel Goes West, and a producer and director for such shows as Rugrats and Ah Real Monsters. Hell, the back of the box even credits the children's TV entries, which is exactly what you want to see on the back of a box for a movie you have to be 18 to rent. Oh wait, oh, there's the duck, there's Willard, and the new friend? Oh, the friend's so new, I don't even remember this person from the movie! While leaving little to no mark upon release in 74, Down and Dirty Duck has since become a cult classic. And you can tell because nowadays, after people get done having sex, they look at their partner and say to them, <laughs> You're a good duck. <laughs> oh wait, no they don't! Yet. Ha, ha, ha.